What's up guys, we're gonna review your comments again today, talk about the altcoins that you call and some questions that you might have. So if you ever want to know something or say something, just leave a comment somewhere, I'll go over it weekly. Today, let's talk about Falcon Forge, let's talk about Matic, let's talk about a lot of cool stuff that you guys talking about, right? So the first comment that I see for today is, Falcon Forge is more than 50% inflationary, why should we buy? I agree, it is good project but man it's just too much inflation out there my opinion well with falcon forge uh 50 inflationary i think you mean that more than ha that half of the tokens still are about to get vested um i'm gonna show you something but first of all the fully diluted market cap so the market cap if all the tokens were in circulation is 140 million dollars right the market cap it reached in the last bull run was already 830 million so even if everything was in circulation and falcon forged just goes back to its previous all-time high which it will surpass way beyond in my opinion in the next bull run then it will still do a 6x right and that's if everything is in circulation but the cool thing is that not everything is in circulation by then. Look at this. These are the tokenomics for Falcon Forge. You always want to look at that. You just don't want to only look at this, right? You, you want to know what's up with this, right? So if you look at that, staking pool, 20%, right? So, okay, so we have the uh, ICO circulating supply, which was already out. Then we have the staking pool, 20%, 10 million Falcon Forge. Over the amount of four years, this will get vested. So four years, right? Four years from the moment it got released. So that's uh, April 2021. So April 2025, that's when all the staking rewards are vested, right? And that's just 20%. And a part of it is already vested because now we have 24 million, right? So we don't have, you know, uh, we have some to go. The team allowance, the team doesn't get a lot, right? 5%, but the team gets it starting from March 2024, and they will get just 40,000 per month. It's divided over 10 years. So that's two bull runs from now. We won't notice that. Then also they have, they have a reserve and that will be locked for four years as well, right? And I don't know the release schedule of this one, if it gets released all at the same time and what they are going to do with it. But still, worst case scenario, they're gonna dump these tokens, which I don't expect, but after four years. So also 2025, guess what? That's when we are already in a bull run. So it takes a long time for these tokens to get vested. And in that case, it doesn't really matter because then the onboarding and the growing of the project and the investors that come, is going faster than the token unlocks and that's the most important thing so falcon forge definitely uh good tokenomics in my opinion someone said I, okay i made this video matic price prediction and i made that based on the bitcoin pair right because i said like okay the bitcoin dominance is going up so the you know the altcoins compared to bitcoin are going down right uh so that's what i showed like you know matic extremely high so it has some room to go down right someone says please do in usdt comparison as well not all of us are accumulating bitcoin so this kind of comparison doesn't really matter in that case you can also choose to accumulate bitcoin because then you make the most out of it but if you feel like for some reason that you do not want to uh, buy bitcoin and you want to wait for altcoins to just bottom against that dollar pair what am I looking at for Matic dollar? Um, it's now sitting at its last big support, right? We are there since July. It depends on what the market does, of course. Um, but if we break that support, then the first big support is around 55 cents. Then the support after that is around 38 cents. That's the, uh, and, and we have more here, but I don't think it's getting there. So 55, 38 are my most bearish targets for Matic. I don't think we will see lower prices. Um, what if says enough? I don't know what you're talking about. In the end, if Bitcoin rallies and Matic stay, the prophecy is also fulfilled. If Bitcoin ra rallies and Matic stays. So if Bitcoin rallies, Jesus, this chart. <laughs> if Bitcoin rallies against dollar. So let's, uh, let's say that Bitcoin goes to around 22K, right? And Matic for some reason stays the same. I don't think so because Matic will rally as well. But Matic will stay the same at the dollar pair. But Bitcoin goes up, 
means that Matic Bitcoin is going down. That's the whole point of it. Um, someone says, you're Dutch, right? Yeah, I have a Dutch accent. I can't get rid of it. Grizzlyfy uh, is a scam. You are oh, nice. You are a clown. You have no clue. All your predictions are wrong so far. What are you talking about? I make these predictions since like two months. I'm talking about predictions for like, it's not for like tomorrow or anything. So just wait, right? Okay. Uh, also, I don't know what, what, what your argument is, why my prediction is not correct. Like <laughs> this is on the Matic pair. Like this is a support line for Matic. This is a support line for Matic. And this, what's wrong about that? I don't know. Some people are crazy. Um, I bought one with your code. Oh yeah, cool. So I made a video about the Lysium about this project that i have on my watch list and if you look at this trailer looking super 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 interesting and this is something that i'm definitely interested in in getting so soon i will buy a node live on cam and a node you contribute to the network basically and then you get a certain amount of tokens vested every single day right and then when the tokens hit it's kind of a um Private sale, but you are earlier than that. That's with these notes, basically. And you need a code uh, to buy such a note. Um, if you're interested, leave a comment. I can send you the code. It will cost you $1,000. It's a big investment. But if you look at this project, if you look at all their advisors, it's insane. Uh, everybody's bullish about Illuvium, then you should be absolutely bullish about this project so you can already contribute um, in it it's a big it's a big investment like i said but i think uh, risk reward ratio is fucking insane um so nice that you have bought one i haven't even bought one myself but soon i will do that on camp so cool um for the crypto gaming portfolio you gotta add a bag of dual for DeFi of DeFi kingdoms yeah but this is alex becker's portfolio right these are calls that he makes and he never talks about jewel so i can't add that um I do think that DeFi Kingdoms was very innovative and a very good project and that if you were on time that you would have made a lot of money with it. I think it's just too late for it, um, to be completely honest, because at the end of the day, you know, um, it, 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 it was around $20. It's now 20 cents, right? If you look at the market cap as well, uh, it was 1 billion. It's now 20 million. I, I, I maybe you are right but i want to see that this survives the bear market and that, that, that this will still be a thing in the next bull market sorry let me turn off the sound because on the end of the, at the end of the day it's just a clickable and playable dex right i know it's a short side it's a, slightly more than that but it's not like i feel like it's not it's not a game right it's it's not a game it's gamified right and uh, it had a good hype i don't know if it will continue to do so although they are working and building on a lot of cool stuff though um thanks for the financial advice i'll be sure to sue you as to sue your ass when i lose money <laughs> yeah do so nice um responding under a video where i give no advice at all by the way <laughs> i don't give any advice at all by the way but uh yeah sue me i like that um i hear that bitcoin is going to go to zero february 2023 and come again in 2021 uh 31 did you hear that you you must be deaf man <laughs> bitcoin is not going to zero and like coming back like eight years later um uh, if it does <laughs> would be insane i will buy a lot at zero like damn i can buy them all then like crazy i think everybody can buy them all so will it ever get to zero no that doesn't work uh oh yeah someone commented under the alex becker video about Volker force ultra gala d-ray superverse etc sad thing is only gala makes worthwhile crypto related games out there all the others are worthless copycats uh of other uh mediocre games which they only added some meta or crypto mechanics um, mechanics sorry no kidding if they release the grid and have half the audience of fortnite as a game of okay yeah cool so i get your point gala is a fucking insane project definitely and there is not a lot that really comes close to gala though that definitely is true but what you're saying that all the others are worthless copycats of mediocre games but there are no other galas in this list right we have ultra ultra is not gala ultra is like um 
where you can play these games, where you can get access to the games, right? Seedify is a launchpad where you can invest in these gaming projects before they hit the market, right? Where you can make start, where you can do startup investments. Superverse is, for example, an NFT marketplace and way more than that. D-Race is just a single game. So there are a lot of different projects in there, right? Which we all need, kind of. Um... It says DMA is not an investment. Technically, it is, uh, technically a node is not an investment because you're contributing to a network and you don't really know what you're going to get in return as there's no set price for it. So therefore, they can't call it an investment. Also, I have a gala film node and they have it all over the website. Like, this is not an investment. I see it as an investment because you get these tokens and if you're bullish on the project, then you expect that these tokens are going to be worth a lot of money. I think with one DMA that costs you a thousand dollars, you can make a fucking insane passive income uh, of it uh, with way more than a thousand dollars. Um, happy new year to everybody, by the way, as well. What do you think about Remark? Good project, good tokenomics, make a video, thanks. Yeah, so I just released a video not too long ago about um, when to buy Remark. Um, so that's kind of when I talked about it. For the rest, I didn't really talk about the project itself that much because I don't really know about the project. I know it's low cap, good tokenomics indeed, $70 million market cap, 10 million tokens in circulation almost. Far from its all-time high as well. It's now sitting at a 180, and it came from around 70 dollars almost. So that's very nice. It is what's something with NFTs, right? Internally liquid, forward compatible, nested, conditional, and multi-resourced NFTs. Yeah, what's Remark? Um, it's a set of NFT Legos that give NFT infinite accessibility hosted on the Kusama blockchain Polkadot scannery network without the need for parachains or smart contracts. What I what I think about Remark, I think that Remark is um, a project that can 100x in the bull run, actually. They just have to survive the bear market, that's all they have to do. It's that easy for Remark, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, almost 6K. Yes. <laughs> it's incredible, right? I, I, we are at 6K right now, by the way. Could you check out MNW uh, in your next best projects in the next bull market video? Yeah. It's a very strong project, man. I knew it. Uh, I holded it back in the day. I sold it for a little profit. Uh, let me take a look at it. Oh, yeah. It came down after that. Nice. I think that m and I'm going to buy this again, but not at these prices, right? Look what, look, let, let's, if you want to see a spectacular price chart, look at m and Very insane. Look at this. Um, we also have a Bitcoin chart. m and is a project that can absolutely be completely mind-blowing. I can already tell you that. Ah, oh, that doesn't take it a lot back, though. That's too bad. Wait, is there another one? MNW USDT. I want to show you something very cool. Hmm. Okay. What MNW is uh, capable to do is uh, what you can see in the price chart as well right here. And I'm already show you here then. It went like they came out and nothing happened, right? They were a cent or so. In the first... You know, slightly, it wasn't even a bull run, not the top of the bull run, but they went from like 20 cents, 10, 20 cents, all the way to around $4. Came all the way down again to around 60 cents, 50 cents. And then at the top of the bull market from there, all the way up again to $5 in no time. Now it's going all the way down again, right? We had that 30 cents opportunity again. Missed it. Too bad. This will get to $5 again, definitely. Definitely, right? Market cap as well. Market cap, $30 million right now. Insane. It went to almost $200 million, right? Could it go there again? 
Hell yeah, easy, easy. I think a billion even, right? But now at a thirty million dollar market cap, no, I want to buy at you know around fifteen, twenty million, right? Is that possible for M and W? Yeah, that's possible, definitely. I think that this project is going. Uh, although it's very strong, I think that we get a very good buying opportunity at eighty cents, and I think we get a very good buying opportunity. Yeah. At around 50 cents, around maybe 70, maybe 40. I don't even fucking know. All I know that that's a great buying opportunity. But when I look at the Bitcoin chart, I feel like, oh, has a long way down to go. Has a long, long, long way down to go. The first big level for this is basically sitting around 40, 50% down. So it's a great project. It's definitely a great... I'm not even talking about the project itself, but it's a great project, definitely. Uh, you can compare it a little with Quant, for example. But is it worth to buy it right now? In my opinion, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think so yet. Um, thanks for the erase. You're welcome. Can we have contact via Instagram? I don't have Instagram, um, but you can email me. It's in the, it, It's on screen right now. Um Alethia, or you can get in the in the in the Foma uh, Factory Telegram group. By the way, links in the description, uh, and there I can chat with you on Telegram as well. Um, Aleth Alethia, get you rich. You mean this, this NFT, or is it a coin? Because is if if it's a coin, it's not listed on. Uh, this is not. Oh, this is also not it, right? Alethea Crypto. What is it? Talking about this one? Alethea welcomes you to Noah's Ark. Are you ready to battle? And if <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Oh, Ellie token. Hmm. Ellie. Artificial liquid intelligence. That's the one you're talking about. 100% of this one you're talking about, right? Ooh, no, tokenomics not good, man. <laughs> no, eight times token vesting to go. That's not what you want. Price from 10 cents to less than a cent. And the market cap from 100 million to 40 million. That's what I mean. Token vesting is killing the killing the price. So it might be an interesting project um, to maybe keep on your watch list. I will do some research. I'm going to keep it on my watch list because it looks interesting. But to buy now is stupid, uh, to be honest, because it's now nine. This nine could be a two very soon. Right, it depends on the vesting, so I have to take a look at that. But this just that's something I, I'd like to see, uh, basically. But maybe it's not that bad, so maybe you're completely right. But from what I see at first sight, no. Um, but you know, therefore, you want to go to you know the token and uh, want to see about tokenomics, token vesting schedule. Here we go. Private sale. When was this vested? Back in February 2022. Um, so three months cliff. So 20% from the private sale is already investing. So the private sale uh, investors are dumping on us for the coming one and a half years. Strategic sale, same. So that's 23%. TDA reserve is already out there. Oh my God, ecosystem development, three months cliff, then, you know, and 37% dumping fucking hard on you right now. Team and advisors are crazy hardly dumping on you. So almost all the tokens are being dumped at the moment uh, for the coming three years, maybe. So mm, 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 mm. if you're going to buy this, you better buy this when we are in a big ass bull market and not now, right? Because we are now uh, here. Uh, what was it again? February, right? February. And it's now, okay, so we are now at 11 months. So we now give or take here, this part, 
right? This is still to get vested. That's a lot, man. This, all this. That's a lot. That's a lot. So maybe a good project, but the tokenomics suck. So, uh, and that's why the money is, right? So if it can get you rich, it can also get you very wrecked in this bear market. Um, <laughs> uh, Illuvium is a scam. Not sure why you don't get that. So I said, not sure why you think so. And he says, <laughs> it went from $1,800 $1, to under $40. Okay, but, okay. For the people that are new in crypto, I assume you are new. I hope you are new. <laughs> If a project goes down in price, it's not a scam. <laughs> That's a market, right? Um, would be a little weird to to assume that that's the case. Like if you look at Bitcoin, oh, Bitcoin is a scam. Why? Because the chart, like how, right? The S and P 500 is a scam. <laughs> not everything goes down is a scam, right? And if you maybe mean that, goddamn, my alarm goes off. Why does this happen to me? Um, Okay, shut the hell up. I'm not sleeping, so you don't have to wake me up. Um, but maybe you mean that it went down hard. That could be the case. But also, that's, that's no reason why it's a scam. That's like bullshit to say so, right? Did it came down a lot? Definitely came down a lot. Illuvian came down for sure. But it's still up 30 times from their private sale, right? So... If you were in time, you would have made a lot of money with Illuvium, right? And it's now sitting at where it got released. The problem with Illuvium is that um, in the bull market, it went from that same $30 to $1,900, right? So in the bull market, it did fantastic. In the bear market, it does exactly what a bear market does to projects, right? It came down. And Illuvium is not different uh, <coughs> from any other project like yes it went down 97 percent a lot of projects did but that's not because they are scam that's one uh, because it's a bear market where projects just get killed two token vesting illuvium has a lot of tokens hitting the market because it's a new project and a lot of pre-sale investors get their tokens and they sell their tokens because it's a bear market so they want to be in dollars and not in altcoins risky gaming altcoins right so therefore it comes down even way harder so i hope i could explain to you why something goes down without necessarily being a scam um oh yeah. how far do you think gala can go down and for you to still have utility with your nodes reason for asking wondering at what point gala uh, the gala ecosystem dissolved all right so i run my gala film node um so this is how it looks like i can show you a little bit um i have my node running right here so every day i run my node i am earning a popcorn the more you earn the larger your bucket is and this is kind of an nft and once the film tokens come out based on how big of a bag I have, I get an amount of film tokens distributed. Um, this is apart from the Gala token that we know, because I'm not getting Gala tokens for it. I'm getting the Gala film token, and that doesn't exist yet. Therefore, you temporarily get these NFTs. Um, so, of course, if Gala goes down to shit, it's probably not good for my film tokens, but it doesn't have a direct uh, this token and the Gala film token are two t different things, right? The only, you know, same thing is that it's both from, you know, Gala. Um, but how far do I think Gala could go down? I have to take a real quick, a uh, real good look at their tokenomics. Um, and I don't even know where to find those. I can, for the people interested in Gala, because let me tell you this, no over exaggerating, Gala is the best crypto gaming project out there. The best, w by far. All right, so let me already tell you that. Uh, but the tokenomics are just not that good. And I can't take a look. Gala tokenomics, sometimes you can just also Google it if you cannot find it, man. Gala tokenomics. Let's take a look for the ones interested in Gala. Let me take a look. Gala distribution. July 21st, 2021. 
and July 20, to, uh, 2022, 17 million gala is distributed. Okay, that's not that much. Daily, oh, <laughs> at approximately this and that time. Half of this gala is distributed to the founders, node operators, and half is distributed to the gala gain converser, the blah, blah. They have a halving schedule each year on the 21st of July, the distribution of Gala will be halved. For example, be okay, okay. So Gala has halvings. So it looks like every year, July 21st. Okay. Um, But that was in this period that it was distributed. But where is the rest coming from? Hmm. Sorry for this boring shit, but this is... Max total supply. Okay, I know about the max total supply. But where's the rest? I have to take a look. But I like the halving. Not sure. I have to figure this out. I, I, I have to do some boring nerd shit. So I'm not going to do that on cam. Otherwise, uh, this video is not fun. But I will come back to that. Um, so yeah, how far it can go down is, it really depends on so much, man. It depends on the market, um, but it depends also on their vesting. Uh, um, but if this is not that bad, yeah, then Gala can uh, go really high as well, right? Because, you know, it came market cap wise also from 5 billion to 100 million. So it's actually 50 times from its all time high apart from the tokenomics right so that's already what it could do um i mean it did it in the last bull run so you know i feel like gaming is going to be bigger in the next one um someone says cash is king now i've been accumulating some and wait for a possible entry plenty of time to make big profits once uh all hope has been lost that's when i will invest yeah smart 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 yeah man this video was basically on catching falling knives, buying every dip. Like if you see lower lows and lower highs on the price chart, just don't buy. It's just stupid. That's how you lose money. You don't think like, oh, but now it looks like a good time to buy. You know, two months later, it's down like another 50%. Your money is gone, right? And I know you don't lose if you don't sell, but it's kind of bullshit as well, right? Because you could also just hold your money and buy at the low, low, low levels, right? And then... Yeah, <laughs> you miss out on a lot at least. Um, oh yeah, about that project, the leaf, uh, the Lysium, Like uh, someone said, like uh, just a comment as a view. I appreciate to know if you have invested in the project with money or time and been giving tokens. So you are, uh, so are you invested in it or not? About that project, uh, someone else said as well. Uh, uh, like for uh, like like I unsubscribe to your channel because you didn't say it's paid promotion. It's not paid promotion. I don't do promotions on this channel. So let's get that out of the way. I don't do that, right? I haven't invested in the Lyceum yet in this project. I haven't invested. I have no. I have nobody gave me anything to talk about this. Uh, nothing. I'm going to buy the note just like uh, some people from the audience wanted to buy the note. Exactly the same. Like said, soon on cam, I'm going to show you how to do it. I can actually show you that I'm making the transaction. Um, that's the only way I'm involved with the project. I just talk about the project because I like the project. It's not that every project you do not know about, which I'm uh, talking about, is necessarily promoted. Sometimes I just feel like, man, I run upon a gem right here and I want to share that with you. That's basically it. Um, Dogecoin price prediction 2023. I made a short, I make a lot of short videos by the way. And someone says, Do you think Musk will associate with a loser better by now? Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? I assume that you think that I'm the loser and that Musk for some reason will associate with me and therefore you can better buy it now. What the fuck are you talking about? Okay, apart from that, let's take a look at Dogecoin. <laughs> 
uh, let's take a look. All right. So Dogecoin, right. The thing is, <coughs> Dogecoin, look, you can say whatever you want about Dogecoin. I have my opinion about Dogecoin. I hold it hundreds of thousands, if not millions of Dogecoins back in the day, in 2017, give or take. Uh, I gave them all away. I had another platform. Boo, -hoo -hoo, too bad for me. <laughs> but what I, I th one thing with Dogecoin, before we talk about the price, it has an infinite supply. The vesting is not that insanely fast, but the tokenomics suck. It's also a meme coin, right? It has no utility, right? If you go to the website, it shows like, oh yeah, you can pay people with it. You can pay people with every fucking crypto. It's bullshit, right? It's, it's, it's the meme. Dogecoin has a super strong community. That's why it's what it is, right? But Dogecoin is now seven cents, right? People want, they say like, oh, Dogecoin to, to a dollar or $10. In the last bull run, yes, definitely had a great run, but that was a hype run, bro. You do not, you can't expect that hype comes two times. That's usually not the case, right? Because if Dogecoin wants to go from seven to 14 cents, it doesn't look like a lot, but you know what it is? Another $10 billion have to be injected in Dogecoin for just to make that move. Dogecoin, in my opinion, heavily overpriced because to be honest yeah it's nice it's fun but it's a meme coin does a meme coin needs to be that high and for dogecoin to be a dollar it has to like have 150 billion dollar market cap or so 150 billion that's ethereum right now just put that in perspective right so i don't know if we take a look at the price chart for dogecoin um yeah, same as every other bull run, right? Or bear market went from 70 cents, lowest point was 4 cents. So also 13, 14 times from its all-time high, not doing anything else, basically. Better by now, you say, it's it's a gamble, um, right? Because, like I said, altcoins will go down against their Bitcoin pair, at least, right? Um, Price-wise, this is the first big support point. That's 57 cents. In this current market, in this current bear market, where the Bitcoin dominance is going up, where altcoins are about to get wrecked, where Dogecoin is a meme coin with an infinite supply, too much hype, stochastic RSI going down, you cannot tell me that at least this is not possible. That's another 20% down. So what would you buy right now? I, I don't think it's smart. Maybe I'm wrong. Of course, I could be wrong. But there's too much reasons for me to believe that I'm not wrong about this. Uh, so, yeah, okay. Please watch out a little bit with that. Um, I'm just not a fan of hype uh, coins, to be honest. Um, someone said about the Delysium game, like uh, you can, so you can all you can buy the note, right? So you can get these tokens before the private, and it's a private note, so you need a code for it. Not everybody can just buy it. Um, I do have the code, and I send it over to some people. So this is the code right here. So if you want it, go check that video. It's in the comments right there. You can ask me here. I can put it in the comments here. Um, a lot of people ask for it. Again, uh, keep in mind, it's $1,000. It's a lot of money. It's worth it. I'm gonna buy it, but you know, not everybody has $1,000, of course. Um, nice video. Look good, bad, too good. Hmm. What? Thanks. Uh, yeah, yeah. Why don't you mention that this is paid promotion? That's why I unsubscribe to you. Because it isn't. So I don't. It, it, <laughs> so weird. Um, all the codes, codes, codes. Oh yeah. I made this video. One simple crypto investing and trading trick to make money in a crypto bear market. And someone said, that's gambling and you will cause a lot to get wrecked. Just buy a little bit of BSV weekly. It's the real Bitcoin. Okay, you know that this is complete bullshit, right? If you look right here on, the, on, on CoinGecko, if you ask someone, can, can, you, can you show me where Bitcoin is? They will click this, right? That's what they do. They don't show you this they don't show you this and you don't buy this because you think like oh now i can buy bit bitcoin for 40 dollars right this is not bitcoin it's not so watch out with this a little bit um it's just not bitcoin <laughs> all right and 
when it comes to this 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 video that I made, what I said right there, that's about the stochastic RSI, right? <sighs> Very simple. Let me let me pull up a, 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 a. This is the investment mainly trading trick that I was talking about. Let's go with AVAX. I don't know. That's not a good example. Um, Solana. Yeah. So what I said, if you pull up trading view, put it on the weekly time frame, right? You look when the stochastic RSI is oversold, so when it's low right there, then you buy. When it's high, you sell. Do you sell it here when it's high or here? That's a huge difference. But overall, nine times more than nine times out of the ten, you at least get your trades right. Right? That's what I said. It's not really gambling, bro. If you think that's gambling, then crypto trading is gambling to you. And then you're just not a good trader, right? Because, look, stochastic RSI, oversold. So you don't have to look at the chart. You just see it's oversold, right? So you buy it. You buy it around here. You sell it when it's high, right? Maybe, maybe here. Right here it's high. You make 10x. <laughs> you could also, here it's also high. You could have also sold it here. You made a 43x, right? That's oversold. Then you sell. Right, and you wait for it where it's overbought, oversold again. It's overbought where it's oversold again, and you buy it again, right? So you buy it right here, twenty dollars, twenty-six dollars. You wait for it to be overbought again, so you sell it here, two hundred dollars, one hundred fifty, two hundred dollars. Yes, you could have sold it here, but that's what I said. You cannot time the top and the bottom exactly, but at least you get your trades right, and you don't get them a little right. You get insane trades, right? Here as well, oversold. If you buy there at around eighty dollars, even with a small trade, one hundred and forty dollars, it's just how it works. It's I can show you any chart with any history, and more than nine out of the ten are correct. So if you have nine trades right and one wrong, bro, you're making money if you do ten trades and you have six trades right. So the odds that if you just very artistically just look at this trade that way, try it. Take fifty dollars if you have that. Try it on, on what I don't care what going. Just try it. It will work. It will work. It's sometimes like it's too easy to be true, too good to be true. No, but no, nobody is really applying it, right? It's just how it works. Um, <coughs> oh yeah. Someone asked about the tokenomics for the lithium. I will make a new video about that, going all into details about it, uh, so uh, I can give some information. Um, thanks for your effort. Could you make your videos a bit shorter? Because I'm still new and I've seen tons of videos. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand you. Look, th these kind of videos that I'm making right now, I'm reviewing altcoins. These are the longer videos, like 50 minutes. I do that once or twice a week. The other videos, I try to make them shorter. I definitely agree with you, dude. You're not the only one saying that. Um, yeah, I, I, I will really try. <laughs> it's hard for me. <laughs> um, is it worth investing in it, bro? Keep it up. Yeah, I think so. Uh, with the latest news from Devs, Cyberpunk, third person shooting. I think you want me to check out that project? Cyberpunk. Let me check. Mm. Yeah, the, oh, Cryberpunk, you typed. Is that Cyberpunk? I don't know what you're talking about. Can you enlighten a little bit? <laughs> Okay, I, I, I know you didn't like the test token. Uh, no, I don't know anymore, but probably to economics or so. Uh, I'd love to know your thoughts on Dion. Huge potential for 2023. Let me check out. Haven't heard of that. I know most of those that come around, but this one I haven't heard of. Dion. Um, let me check on CoinMarketCap if I have some more information about the tokenomics. What? Dion protocol. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Nice. If that's really the case, then I like it. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Tokenomics on point. Let me go back to CoinGecko. It's way better overview. Where can you get it? Uniswap and Maxi. Trading volume is decent. All right. What's the price doing for the last month? Okay, what's doing it overall? It's pretty new project. Went from well, not much to not much more. <laughs> yeah, so this could be an early catch. I mean, two million dollar market cap, so that's nice. 
But what is it? Um, don't show me for seven days. That's weird. They have a wallet. Uh, a new power in charge, powering the crypto revolution with renewable renewable energy. Um, this is a little misleading always. Like Binance, Coinbase. Yeah, but these are the price trackers, right? You are not listed there. So come on, don't make don't make it look better than it is. Uh, but what is it? Inspired by the neighbor sky, we present to you. Okay, it's a wallet. Safely and secure store your crypto in our wallet. I always very skeptical about that. I'm not going to just put my crypto into something that I don't know. They have a swap and uh, they have a blockchain. Okay, cool. Um, they have a DAX. Oh, that's kind of shit coinish. Roadmap for January the 3rd. Oh, that's very specific. Fireworks, Arbit 3 begins. I have no idea what that means, bro. Okay. Um, where's their team? Look, with these kind of projects, you definitely want to know oh, who's behind it. I don't know where to find something about their team, though. Yeah, okay, three ghosts. Click on the ghost to reveal something. What the fuck is this? This is weird, man. This is just weird. Um, I don't really see the use case for it. And about face, what is face? And I I don't know about their team as well. It's like weird. Huh. Okay, no big following. Nice graphics, though, but, you know, I don't know, man. Um, looks like a super high-risk play. Can you do Band Protocol and Casper? Yeah, Casper is also a blockchain, right? CS CSPR. <clears throat> I don't know about that one. Uh, oh, yeah, Max Supply Infinite fucking sucks. Um price came from more than a dollar to around two cents uh, down a lot i don't <sighs> you know what it is i don't know a single project that a project that's being built on casper not a single one c s p casper it's not even listed here. I don't know, man. I don't know. This is something I have to dive into. Um, it's not something I can check out in like uh, a, a minute or five. But price has been doing pretty well. Uh, last, well, this bear market, let me put it like that. Um, so that's okay. But smart contract platform, I, I don't know projects built on there. I don't know them. So I don't know what their use case is. Uh, so I don't know, man. Band protocol. I have heard of that. Let me check. Band. Mm -hmm. Do you have a fetish for uh, infinite supply coins? <laughs> Let me take a look. Band went from $23 to a dollar. Yeah, okay. It's nothing crazy. Um, what is it again? Secure scalable block. It's also a blockchain and a decentralized oracle. Okay. Um, I think Band is pretty interesting. I heard of it before. Band chain. 74 validators. Request time. Hmm. Might be interesting. However, I don't never, I never see someone talk about this. 
I never see it. There's no hype. Uh, there's nothing. I don't know. They have all the exchange listings though. It's an older project. All I know is that like, yeah, okay. I just saw the chart by the way. That's cheating. But it's an interesting project. I don't know enough, uh, not, not enough about it. Let me put it like that. Um, please review BitGert. Namaste from India. Namaste, bro. I don't know what namaste means. <laughs> I think just hi. <laughs> uh, B-Rise. B-Rise. BitGert. B-Rise. Whoa, that's high cap. What is it? Isn't this an exchange? It's an exchange. Yeah, 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 it's an exchange. Uh, and built with BitGuard chain, right? Is it an exchange or am I stupid? They are also... An Fucking kids. They are also an exchange. Okay. And they are a chain, the fastest and the lowest fee secure and scalable blockchain ecosystem. Okay. Okay, okay. Let me show you your numbers then. Where do you have your numbers? 100,000 transactions per second? Fucking hell. Okay, zero gas fees? Jesus Christ. Is it really that fast? That's insane. But I have never heard of this chain. BRC20 smart contracts. BRC20. But is it something built on it? As well, like BitGuard. Ring, okay, uh, wait. No. BitGuard, BitGuard, BitGuard. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, Three million dollar total value locked. Okay, so it is a chain. It is claiming to be the f very, very, very fastest chain, but there are no projects built on it yet. Like the biggest project has one and a half million dollars total value, that's nothing. So, might be interesting, but then again, if this will work, I would rather look at one of these projects, right? Uh, ice cream swap, like ice cream swap sounds like fucking child shit, sphinx maybe, I don't know. Uh, might be worth to interest uh, to, to look at that. Gala Games, high risk, high reward? Nah, I don't consider Gala high risk. Definitely not. No, definitely not. Gala is one of the most secure projects out there. They work so hard. They have so much good stuff go coming out. Um, working on their own chain as well. It's uh, crazy. No, Gala is not high risk. Um, the only high risk thing is maybe the tokenomics. Um, write the name of the coins as you mentioned them. No, I want you to watch the video five times. It's good for my... Uh <laughs> oh, yeah. Lol, 300,000 sauce. If you can hold to 2025, you made. I think you make it, that you mean. But that's about sausage swap. Um, like I said in that previous video as well, the team has a third of the tokens. That's retarded. Why is the team... So not convinced in their own project that they feel like, okay, we're not going to generate any revenue. So we're already going to give ourselves almost half of the tokens. The team can rock the project, literally. So don't buy this. Don't buy this. It's way too high risk. This is like, why does a team need 30%? Why do they, if they don't believe in themselves, why should I? Right? It's bullshit. Um, and 300,000 of these things, what do you... You're not gonna invest $6,000 in something like this, do you? Come on, man. Please. Um, fucking bots. I'll delete that later. I'm almost wrapping the video up. Um, sorry, I forgot to add. Gold is creating a very own CK EVM blockchain focused on decentralization, which is better... Well, which will be the hottest narrative of the next bull run. Yeah, I don't know. Like cult, I, I, I don't know what cult is. Like I said, cult, you can stake it, but what is it? 
right? And now they are going to build a blockchain. Like, yeah, everybody's building a blockchain these days. Uh, there's no reason for me to to buy that. That has to be the best blockchain out there. I don't know how Ace, as far as I know, it's just a rebase project, man. I don't know. Let me let me know about Cold, what it is. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to wrap it up, man. I have too much... Uh, comments to go over still uh which i'm going to do in a different video so maybe tomorrow guys if you like the video please like the video if you have questions if you have comments for me to review in the next video leave a comment down below subscribe to the channel if you haven't and i'll see you guys in the next one bye